it is cold, damp, and dreary outside. <laughs> and so I thought, what better way to like push away those gross winter blues than grab two bowls from the dollar store and some mirrored tile. Do you see where this is going? I bet you do. I'm so excited. So, as I mentioned just a second ago, it is cold and gross and dark out. And so I, <laughs> now I know that we could easily just buy a finished disco ball and turn it into a vase. But what's the fun in that? <laughs> There's none. So we're gonna make our own, cause why not? So I do have two bowls from the uh, Buck 25 store, but I think you get two per Buck 25. So there you go. We're going to put it together, cut out a hole. I also need to spray paint this. That might cause a problem as it is as mentioned before, very cold out. We're gonna try it. Uh, well, we're gonna try it. So we'll do that and then, um, ooh, look at KOC Wholesale, look at that. Uh, mirrored tiles, I got these from Amazon and we're gonna fill them up and make ourselves a little uh, vase and then we will do a floral arrangement while we're at it. So let's, let's get started, shall we? The first thing that we need to do is to cut a hole in one of these bowls. We don't need a hole in both because we're only opening it on one side for this vase. I'm gonna go with the one with the sticker so that I don't have to worry about trying to peel off the sticker. Not that it really matters because the other one's going on the bottom, but you know. Okay, so <laughs> with this, I'm just gonna use that lovely lip it gives me as my navigation. Now, if you are my mother watching this, mom, look away. Don't watch for uh, just a couple of minutes because when I work with scissors and knives, it always makes her nervous. <laughs> so I just made a hole in there with my knife, but I'm hoping, it does not seem to be working, that I could cut that with my scissors instead of going through with the knife. But it looks like we're gonna go through with the knife. So I'm going at an angle and I'm gonna try to cut this as clean as possible. It didn't go according to plan. That's okay, we're gonna fix it. Maybe. I'm gonna trim this up and then we'll get to stage two in a second. Let me go clean this up. All right, so the bowls are drying. I spray painted them black. Um, yes, outside in very cold weather. <laughs> so it's gonna take them a little bit to fully dry. They are in the studio now drying. Um, I got spray paint on my shirt. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out, so I'm kind of bummed about that. I'm gonna have to turn the shirt into a pillow. That's probably what's gonna happen. I'll cut it up. Anywho, um, so I will be back tomorrow and we'll start playing with the lovely mirrored pieces. We need to let that fully dry because I'm just a little bit nervous. These are um, self-adhesive. I'm a little worried if the paint is still slightly damp or tacky, it's just gonna come right off on the adhesive and we don't want that. So we're gonna, we're gonna be patient. We're gonna be patient. Let it fully dry. And then we'll start making our uh, lovely disco ball vase. I'm stinking excited. It's gonna make me so happy. So, so happy. Hello there, lovely friends. We are back, day two. Fun fact, this dress is supposed to be a pajama dress, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't wear like an everyday dress. Anyway, and I did need to tell you that because you wouldn't have known otherwise, but here we are. All right, day two. The um, bowls are fully dried now. Uh, we're going to put them together. Now, the first time I did this, I used a little bit of glue and that, in all honesty, was kind of a hot mess. But I might still put some E6000 on here 
and then we're gonna tape it. That way then it's holding together and I'm not constantly shoving and moving and stuff. So yeah, we'll give the E6000 another chance, another shot, and then we're gonna tape up these seams and get to the ever loving, it takes forever, but it's so satisfying, mirroring tile thingamajigs. Okay, let's do this. We've we've got a snafu. Does anybody else glue their E6000 glue? The, uh, there we go. <laughs> how, did, how do you get that to not happen? Okay, onward. Also, I realized that this didn't get fully spray painted. That's because I was spray painting it from the... Nobody's gonna see that. It's fine. It's fine. Ugh. It's not that much glue, but there's just a little bit of glue on there. Just enough so that there's contact. The glue isn't, isn't going to hold everything together perfectly, that's why we're going to tape things. It's super fickle. If you're going to try to just glue it without putting tape or anything, I wish you the best of luck. I tried that with the first one and it just... It's as soon as you shift one spot, another thing shifts, so... My goal was just to get it close enough so that we had a nice clean seam. And then I went in with the tape. So I'm gonna be using the vinyl tape that I have on hand, but duct tape would also work. Other types of tape would also absolutely work. For some reason, this one got full of um, <laughs> pompous grass at some point. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Oh, that is not going the way it did the first time. Hold on. We're gonna do this again. I want it, this to try to be as smooth as possible for when the mirrored pieces go over it. But we'll see. We will absolutely see. Also, I'm going to go in with smaller parts of tape instead of one big long string. And so now I'm going to go in again where the um, paint came off because I feel like that if the, it peeks through the red would show up a lot more than this green. But that's another, we'll just have to wait and see what happens once it happens. Oh jeez, Louise, I'm like folding up tape all over the place. I could have also maybe used black electrical tape. That probably would have been a better idea with this, um, covering of the seam. So there you go. Lesson learned from me. I don't have any black. Uh, I just call it black electrical tape right now. So I'm out of luck on that. Also, I just had two seconds of like pure terror that I forgot to press record. <laughs> but we're okay. We're here and we are recording. Okay. I think that's gonna be good because I don't want too much of a, a lip for the rest of this. So, all right, our 
disco ball form is ready. So now we're going to start adding in all of the, the mirrored bits. So what I found to be the easiest with this is you can, I like to cut them in groups of two. This is going to be your own personal preference, but you can like bend these through and then grab your scissors and you're going to just go all the way through. And these are self-adhesive, so there's a little paper on the back. Now to start, I use bigger strips, like almost a full strip when going like around. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to start on the center line. So bigger strips in the beginning, but then as we start to really kind of curve up, I go into smaller strips, which you'll see as we start this. So, okay, here goes nothing. Now, I don't take off all of the tape at once. All right, now we're just gonna do that a bajillion more times. Can you can you hear the excitement in my voice? It's worth it in the end, but man, oh man, this is definitely a process. If you accidentally fold one over, just know that it, you're not alone, that I do that over and over and over again. Um, but I haven't found a way to like actually pull them apart, which is also why I don't pull off all of the tape at once because they start to stick on each other. All right, lovelies. Ooh, there's an echo. Now, um, get yourself either a movie to watch, um, pull up your favorite audiobook, podcast, YouTube video, Netflix series, whatever, because you're going to be here for a while. We're going to work on putting all of the little uh, mirror pieces on here. Um, and I think it takes, I think the last time I did it, it was like a half hour to 45 minutes straight. But I don't know that I'll be able to do it all at once. So let's give it a go, shall we?
All right, so the first thing I need to do is to stem up all these flowers. I'm gonna do that real quick, probably off camera. The, um, <laughs> well, it turned out so cute, first off. Second, we're gonna go like completely whimsical with this one. So I am using a lot of dried, um, colored, preserved greenery. Um, we've got some baby's breath, some, oh, I forgot the name of this stuff. We don't have it in the shop anymore, so um, I don't need to remember the name anymore. We've got some bunny tails, pompous grass. We did have pompous grass in pink at one point. This purple I found at a um, home decor store. The palm I did spray paint at one point for a different project, and it's gonna, I think, work well with the color scheme we've got going on. And then this guy was in my stash, probably either Joann's or Michael's from years ago at this point. And then the flowers, originally I was gonna go with some red in there, but it didn't go with the color story. So I pulled purple flowers instead along with the pink ones, which, did you all see the detail? There's a little gold center in there. How sweet is that? So I'm gonna stem those up and then we'll get to putting them all into our disco ball. I remember the name of this stuff. It's Sesame Bloom. Before we get any further, can we just, how cute is that just as is? I know I say that a lot, but seriously, how cute is this without the flowers? But of course, we're gonna add the flowers. I just don't think I'm gonna add nearly as many as I originally thought I would. Because this is the star and these are the supporting ladies this time. So um, I may only have like, five flowers in there. We'll see, we'll see. So I'm, I'm put it back down and we'll get back to work. We'll see what, we'll see where it takes us. The sun is starting to do some funky stuff right now. So hopefully we can get through before the sun crosses over. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh my gosh. I was like, I'm not gonna add that many flowers. And I put one flower in and I'm like, I'm gonna add 50 flowers. <sighs> I'm gonna try, we'll see. This is definitely a forward facing piece. So I'm going to tilt some of my wires so that the flowers are facing forward a little bit more. Can you even see that in there? I can in person, but it definitely gets lost. Maybe we just go with pink flowers only. And maybe we only go with the pink flower with the gold center. Just because we've got so much going on elsewhere that maybe the low key part is like I said these are supposed to be supporting rolls for this piece all right we'll see maybe maybe those and then these guys the small ones I think I think that's what we're gonna do I think that's what's gonna happen
All right, there you have it, lovelies. There's something on the floor in my way. Our lovely disco ball piece. This shirt cheered me up. Yes, indeed, LED. I'm hoping now that I can get the sun to actually work with me. I was walking it around the room and when the light hits, it's it's magical, freaking magical. I'm loving this. It's very much more of a modern piece for sure with the colors and the textures. I love it. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be using this for all sorts of different reasons, but whenever I need a pick me up, this is gonna be the thing I'm gonna pull and I'll make a floral arrangement with. Holy buckets, so much fun. If you guys loved this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. We love when you guys do that and we will answer any questions as soon as possible. If you're loving this channel, can't get enough, wanna know the next time we post a video, which is typically on Wednesdays, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to ohyourlovely.com. But before you scoot off, make sure to grab this. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the new year. Oh, how did that happen? All right, you guys, I will see you soon. Have a lovely, lovely day. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys. I haven't done this in a long time. Let's see. Let's see if we can balance it on our head. Oh. Oh. Ah, for a couple seconds. <laughs>